I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if what he's asking is, cause you made a point here about the majority of posts about cheating spouses that, that sometimes in Facebook, we have these guys that are, their marriages are falling apart and they're falling apart. And, and maybe he's, he's looking for, Hey, why don't we have this conversation around a proper way to exit? Meaning I can be a complete man, even though my marriage fell apart, even though mm. someone cheated on me and, and how do yeah. I move on beyond that? That that's what I'm assuming is, Barry's asking. Yeah, that's a good, I'm glad you clarified. The answer is to fix yourself. Like go, go into Google and type in order of man, fix yourself. And you'll find two podcasts. One is fix your marriage by fixing yourself. And the other one is fix yourself first. That's the answer. Fix yourself, find new hobbies, develop new skills, build a band of brothers, go to the gym, get your finances in order, mm. work on yourself. It's always work on eat. By the way, even if you're in a thriving <laughs> marriage, the answer is work on yourself, work on yourself, work on yourself, work on yourself. Your marriage will get better if you work on yourself and if your marriage is not doing well for one reason or the other, it will either improve or it won't work, but you'll still position yourself in a better position because you're worrying about fixing yourself, fix yourself, fix yourself, fix yourself. All those posts in the Facebook group, the answer is fix yourself. So yeah. go into Google type order of man, fix yourself. And you'll find those two resources there. That's it guys. Just work on yourself always and in all ways, and you'll be better. Everything around you will be better. As far as exiting a marriage, there's some other considerations. I like Dave Ramsey's input when he says that once you have made the decision to leave a marriage, it now becomes a business transaction. It's very hard to do when you're emotionally invested and there's kids involved and assets and businesses, but at that point, it's a, it's a business negotiation. You're worrying about money. You're worrying about visitation. You're worrying about custody. Like it's business at that point, which means that you need to try to extract the emotion and make practical, pragmatic business and financial decisions. Yeah. Um, do us a favor. Hashtag fix yourself. Hashtag order of man. Some of you guys on Instagram or Facebook, go, go ahead and find those posts and, and let's do some reposting so guys see that more often in the Facebook group or what, whatever social media you're using. And, and Ryan, I'm assuming you would also say, hey, this is the, also the answer for anything. So you're at work and your boss doesn't do a good job and you're frustrated with how the team works. What do you do? Fix yourself. Fix do yourself. your job well. Right. Do it amazing. Focus on what you do have control over. Get your house in order. Do your part before bitching and moaning about how, you know, everyone else is not doing their, their part. Yeah. It'll solve the, it'll solve your problems. Look, if you take about, if you take it in the context of business, one of two things will happen. If you focus on yourself, the environment will get better. Your boss will improve. Your employees will be more efficient. Or if you're an employee, you'll get a new job that's better than the one you're at right now because you've made yourself more capable and people acknowledge and recognize that and they want to hire you. Yeah. Like, like tell me, here's a great way to look at it. If, if you've got a boss who's, who's a dick or, you know, he's, he's, he's doesn't want to help or support you, whatever. If you try to go correct his behavior, it could, it could actually work or it, could not work and you can find yourself out of a job, right? So there's a downside. There is no downside to improving yourself. <laughs> yeah. Like there is zero risk at all whatsoever about focusing on being the best employee, the best communicator, the best delegator, the best fill in the blank. No downside whatsoever. No risk, no downside, only upside potential. So if we're talking about taking paths, like what should my decision be? I would go with the high probability decision of correcting and fixing yourself and working on yourself before I tried anything else. 